So ever since I came to UCSD, I've had the feeling that someone was following me. And after looking at the program for today, I finally realized it's Charles. <laughs> He's everywhere. So um, I became department chair. Charles became department chair. I became associate dean. Charles became associate dean. I retired two years ago. Now Charles is retiring. <laughs> But more seriously, it's been a pleasure to work with Charles, Charles for almost a decade um, as associate dean. Um, he was a wonderful partner in crime, I have to say, um, in, uh, during that time. And um, I'm going to concentrate my remarks on global ties because that really shows his um, his effort, his persistence, and um, his real help as a partner in getting this going. I really couldn't have done it without him. So um, what is uh, Global Ties? Well, um, it's a program that's ongoing now, uh, ever since 2004, uh, that has small teams of interdisciplinary students work with nonprofits and as we started out, that was in the local community. So how did it come about? Well, so um, early on, I was given a tip by um, um, Fran Allen, who's a renowned computer scientist and was my mentor at IBM for a long time, that I should talk to Leah Jamison, who was at Purdue at the time, and had started something called the EPICS program. Not ethics, ethics, E-P-I-C-S, Engineering Projects in Community Service. She said, you really ought to talk to Leah about that. So Charles and I got together, and we invited, in 2004, we invited Leah, who was then a professor of ECE. Um, she uh, afterwards became dean of engineering at Purdue, but she's retired from that. And we had her give a talk. It was not very well attended, but... Charles and I were so smitten with this program that we decided we had to create one as associate deans at UCSD. Um, and so uh, we went to talk to the dean uh, uh, at the time, Frieda Seibler, and told him that we really wanted to do this. And he said, well, it's not a good time to start a new program. But, you know, Charles, uh, and learning from Charles's calmness, we let this roll over us as, you know, soft waves at La Jolla Shores. <laughs> and um, we, had, we were uh, passionate about this. And um, really, when you think about it, um, at the time, there was really no way for engineering students to work in a multidisciplinary team on a real project with a real organization and have that organization really show them that they could use their knowledge and skills for social good. Okay? There was nothing like that at UCSD. So we got started. We applied for a grant, a uh, starter grant from NSF, all of $60,000, which was not much because we wanted to give the students budgets to, so the community partners wouldn't have to pay for things. Um, and we created a whole curriculum around this, a series of courses. Um, and Charles and I both started teaching these courses and advising the students. And um, uh, eventually, um, it became more established. We grew the projects and so forth. And I'm pleased to say that um, the... Um, program now has become Global Ties, so it has projects uh, in um, places like Fiji and the Philippines, um, so it's become working with uh, NGOs throughout the world, really. Um, and throughout this all, Charles was doing everything, and this is, I guess, part of my theme. He was always there. He was teaching all the courses, and he's continued to up to this time. And I wouldn't be surprised if he comes back and does it again. <laughs> um, but um, he was really just so instrumental in, in getting this going, you know, in terms of um, the courses, the fundraising, um, and uh, really um, getting the nonprofit partners. We were making cold calls 
from a list from the San Diego Foundation, you know, seeing if we got a call back to see if they might be interested in becoming one of our community partners. So um, in um, 2008, while we were still associate dean, uh, we decided that we were going to create uh, a multidisciplinary major, uh, which was pretty ambitious. And uh, when we tried to do that, we were told, well, you know, um, School of Engineering is actually not really a school, so you don't have the right to do a major. In fact, we're going to take those courses away that you created for your Global Ties program. <laughs> um, and so again, you know, uh, Charles came through in this crisis situation. We worked really hard with the Academic Senate to save these courses. They gave us a year to do it. And we did it. So um, I really want to thank Charles so much for being such a great, uh, as I said, partner in crime. Uh, and the other thing um, I will be eternally grateful to you for is for doing the ABET at the School of Engineering and allowing me not to do it. <laughs> so I'm really pleased to have been part of this. Uh, you know, as we all know, Charles is quiet, unassuming, uh, but persistent. Uh, and I hope to see him behind me again at other activities. But it's, it's wonderful that his accomplishments are being recognized in this way, you know, and they've been um, so diverse that uh, it's, it's just wonderful to see it all come together in one place. Thank you, Charles. Thank you.